The uranium undoubtedly has really bad PR, but to me it's just an element in the periodic table. It's about what do you use it for. There's lots of things that we need in everyday life and they're all made by processes we call catalysis. And what catalysis does is use a sequence of steps to bolt some molecules together to make the molecule that you're interested in. And the reason we use those processes is they lower the activation barrier to producing the molecules that are made out the other end. This saves energy, it reduces waste. Lots of metals around the periodic table can do these steps and be involved in catalysis, but these steps have never been done with uranium before. And now we've done these steps with uranium, and so this opens the door to some potentially really amazing science to make new things that we've not been able to make by other methods. The reason we've been looking at uranium is it sits at this very interesting crossroads point in the periodic table, and these two rough areas of the periodic table, transition metals and lanthanides, have very different types of chemical reactivity and so you wonder whether uranium might combine both of those types of reactivity and if it does that in catalytic processes you might get access to new ways of making new molecules that are currently really difficult to make. We don't know this for sure, but it could be that one day a plastic which has the mechanical performance that you require of it, but also will nicely disintegrate back to simple organic components when you bury it in the ground, can only be assembled with an element like uranium. We're talking about molecules that could be the basis for making new wonder drugs that produce a, a cure for a particular form of cancer, or solving various other ailments that we increasingly suffer from because we live longer on average. We were looking at a variety of problems and one day we noticed when we made this compound in the paper that when we were trying to isolate it, if you heated it under vacuum, remarkably this orange material emerged from it. And it turns out that that orange material is the reactant that we put in at the beginning. And this is one of the keys to transition metal catalysis, that a lot of the individual steps in a catalytic cycle are reversible. But overall, you rely on one preferential feature to drive the reaction forward. But once you get reversible reactions, you open up the notion that you could start to cobble together catalytic cycles and make new types of molecules. What catalysis is all about is bringing together two or three separate molecules, breaking some bonds and adding them to a metal. Then another substrate comes in and bolts on to one of the original fragments. And then eventually, at the end of the cycle, the metal spits out this coupled product, which you wouldn't have been able to put together by any other way. Mm -hmm.